Good evening and welcome to the Comgy Sky Dome for BKB 514 top class bare knuckle fights that include one British and four world title contests. The event put on by UB Bad. I'm Tom Ross. My co commentator will be Robin Reed. He's on his way to join me, the former WBC super middleweight champion and, of course, IBO super middleweight champion as well. Um, while we're waiting for the first contest to get underway, which is a flyweight three by two minute round contest between Martin Thorne and Callum Blakemore. I'll just rem uh, give you some good news that uh, BKB6 will be July the 1st in London at the O2 Arena. And when you consider where BKB started to be going to the O2 Arena is absolutely amazing. Well done to uh, Joe Brown and uh, Jim Freeman. But here tonight, 14 fabulous fights and uh, top of the bill, Jimmy Sweeney against Shoney Carter. What a fight that'll be, but we've got some great fights before that. As uh, Lee Druitt, the MC, gets ready to bring the first two fighters into the ring for this flyweight three two-minute uh, round contest. Martin Thorne, who's making his BKB debut, is from High Wycombe. And Callum Blackmore, oh my apologies, Callum Blakemore, who's making his BKB debut. He's from Coventry, local lad. Thorne has an MMA background. But both making their debut, and that can be uh, pretty daunting when you've fought other disciplines, whether it's gloved or MMA. And a lot of pressure on the referees. The referees tonight, Jim Freeman and Barrington Patterson are the two referees. Timekeeper Mitch Austin, the judges Lee Simmons, Alex Rosman, John Sweeney and David Barford. As we get uh, ready for our first contest. And coming into the blue corner first will be Callum Blakemore. Just goes through his uh, through a few shout outs as we get ready for the first contest to get out of the way. I still wait for Robin Reed to join me. He uh, should be at any moment. But eagerly anticipated tonight. Eagerly anticipated. Some great contest. The atmosphere in the Sky Dome is amazing. 
three over three thousand people here unbelievable absolutely amazing and we've got some local uh, fighters in action as well notably ricky nelder who's just from just down the road in birmingham and he's got a hell of a support and a, a big welsh support as well so we should have some good atmosphere here tonight for what promises to be probably the best ever night of bare knuckle boxing yet so we're just waiting now callum blakemore will be the first on Well, we're waiting now as uh, the entrance, all the lights flashing for the fighter's entrance. Yeah. Saw these guys at the weigh-in and both ready for their BKB debut. Here comes the first guy. Callum Blakemore from Coventry making his uh, BKB debut, as I said, and Robin Reed with me now. Delighted to welcome the uh, former WBC super middleweight title holder, the IBO super middleweight title holder as well. Robin, pleasure to speak to you. Glad you to have mate? you with us. Really yeah. good to have you with us. And uh, I mean, we're just talking there as we wait for the fighters to get in the ring. Um, I remember watching you against Sproch and Kelzaghi and the rest. Yeah, I had some great fights. You were in some great fights, fights weren't you? I had some great fights, yeah. I mean, I was three-time world champion, but I got a chance to make great, uh, grace the ring with great fighters like Joe Kelzaghi, which I think I won that fight, and a lot of people still think yeah. I won that fight. Uh, Carl Froch, great fighter, you know, pleasure to have graced the ring with him as well. He caught me at the end of my career, but what a great fighter, and what you know, look what he went on to achieve. What a great so, career you had. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Would you fancy this, BKB? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first one as it goes, like. I'm a little bit squeamish as it goes, but, I mean, I keep saying people, when I've told a few people I were coming down, I said, this is where it originated from. Boxing, or modern day boxing, yeah. started off started uh, knuckle, here. yeah. You know, so it'll be interesting, and I'm quite intrigued to see what, you know, but how it, it goes. It'll be quite interesting for you because the principles are the same. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And it's the same attitude, warriors, yeah. who outside the ring respect each other exactly. immensely, but inside the ring, exactly. when that bell goes, exactly. the, 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 the big difference is uh, there's a 20 second count to, to count, uh, as opposed to the standing count second, of yeah. 18 rather than eight. Yeah. So apart from that, you know, there's uh, a lot of similarities. Yeah, and I'm quite looking forward. Well, it's quite exciting to see it, like I say, first well, time for me. I've heard about it. And there's some you great know. characters. I yeah, mean, and it's quite pop. You know, it's growing in, in, in popularity very as well. well, well you should see around. Yeah, I was just about here. to say, you know, and uh, uh, I mean, I did actually fight here. Exactly. Uh, actually, yeah. I, fought, I defended me uh, WBF world title here against Julio. So uh, Julio says a Vasquez. Uh, yeah. A few years ago, yeah, at the Sky Dome in Coventry. Yeah, and I was here day. for. See, I watched. Uh, Wayne Elcock beat Howard Eastman ah, here. Right, yeah, it's I was here that night, yeah. that's what I mean, it's a great venue. Remember when the, when the guy told me that he was here? And I thought, yes, you know what I mean? It's a great venue. You know, it's, it holds a great crowd in that. Like, so it just shows you how popular it actually is. A lot of the uh, fighters here tonight, especially in the later rounds, some of them, we've got some really big names who've been in sparring with Conor McGregor and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are tough cookies. Exactly, the tough guys. I mean, when someone just said to me, like, would you have a go? I said, no, thanks. <laughs> it was hard enough with a glove on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But what you'll find, um, you know, they've all got, and each one of them, especially in the World Championship, has got some great characters as yeah, well. Jimmy a, Sweeney I mean, yeah, is a guys. proper I mean, character. People, I mean, I was a world champion, and I know plenty of other guys who have been, you know, obviously in the boxing world and that, who were tough guys, but these are tough guys in my eyes, you know what I mean? Well, you, you would look at Jimmy Sweeney in the street, and yeah. you'd, you'd pick on him, yeah. and it would be a big mistake. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, but for me, I'm talking about. Um, but, but you know, the actions and everything. As we get ready for our first, this is three two-minute rounds. Martin Thorne against uh, Callum Blakemore. So Blakemore in the uh, Tiger Stripe shorts and the black shorts is Martin Thorne. And we're off and running. Straight away, out comes Blakemore. 
both of them very, very aggressive early on. Three two-minute rounds, there's, there's no time really to hang around and suss your opponent out, and they come looking for each other. Some great lefts there, he's looking into a lot though, Martin Thorne. Oh, oh he's down. Yeah. I think that was a body shot, I think. Yeah, good body shot. Good body shot yeah. I mean, that's what... Say these to the up and coming lads. I know this is better knuckle, but in boxing as well, same thing. Yeah, same thing. A body shot is a hard shot to get over. You know, a lot we of saw recently, didn't yeah, exactly. we? A great fight ending with uh, exactly. with a great body shot. You know, shot. and a lot of a lot of boxes, you know, go head hunting. Then body shots are hard to get over. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, everybody's got big right hand, exactly. but if you hit the body, exactly, it takes all the wind out of you, and it's at least 20 he's 30 got that, Oh, he's hit again. him again. Yeah. This could end quite quite quickly. Down twice. I have to say for young young uh, Blakemore. What is is over? It's yeah. over. Right, more yeah. swinging the right and exposing yourself exactly. after being here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he should have tucked up maybe a little bit more. You know, like you say, from both fights, it was an aggressive start. You know, and uh, they went like well, two three minutes. You haven't got time. Exactly. Have you? you haven't got time to be dancing around and looking pretty like I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of the mirrors you got in your house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good mirror, mate. Nice to be mine. Yeah. <laughs> but but seriously though, he's come out, and you know when you've been hit with a bad body, it's a really good exactly. one. Exactly. What you have up. to do is. Took your out. Exactly. You've got a, you, and it, it takes a good couple of minutes to get over a good body shot. I got caught with a good. Well, I mean, over my career, I've probably yeah. been caught with a few, but I remember one that sticks to mind. It was my WBC second defence against Henry Wharton, tough guy yeah, from tough Yorkshire. Man. He caught me with a body shot. I think it was the fourth or fifth round. You couldn't see on the TV because I must have helped, uh, disguised it pretty well. But I remember he sunk a left hook into the body. It took all the wind out of me. It took me till the end of the round. You know, that was in the beginning of the round. It took me till the end of the round, a good two or three minutes to get over that body shot. You know, and it was good job he never clocked on that he'd hurt me with it because he'd have just piled in and you know it'd have been yeah. vulnerable to the body ball. Just having a hope the lad's all right Blake Moore yeah. but it, I think he's getting to his feet now he's going to be all right and yeah, a he, round of applause good. there from uh, Martin Thorne. <laughs> Excellent stuff and Good, I'm glad he's not hurt. Yeah, that's, he's that's fine, good. yeah. You know, and like you say, this, yeah, it winded, you know, and it's hard to get on. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how tough you are. You know, a good body shot, but in, placed in the right place, you know, uh, could cause a lot of damage. Just, I mean, while we wait for the official referee's uh, decision, but we know what it is anyway, but he, he has to raise a hand anyway. <laughs> well, a BKB debut winning in the first round. We were just talking there. Didn't you get in with uh, Malinga as well? You did, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I lost my WBC world title to um, Sugar Boy Malinga, as it goes. It was my fourth defence. I mean, I don't want to, like, I'm making excuses. He got me a good... At, at the time, I was, I was pretty sick at the time. I had a chest infection. Um, I, but I was young and naive. I didn't want to pull out the fight. I, you know, I had 10,000 people turning up at the London Arena. I didn't want to let them well, all you down. you should have done, really. And I should have done that. I mean, I've, I, as you get older, it's true what they say. Well, as you get older, you get wiser. I think we're going to have a chat with... Uh, Martin Thorne, if somebody will bring him to us. Martin Thorne. So if you can pass that microphone on to him, Robin, and he'll, well get, a, he'll get a seat there. And uh, just have a little chat with you, Martin. BKB debut, how about that? Absolutely buzzing. Um, to be, I come from MMA, so I've had 12 MMA fights. It's completely different. Um, I mean, everyone's into MMA at the minute. I just wanted to get that other adrenaline rush, you know, try something different. We come out, to, in my eyes, I think I won the fight by looking in my eyes beforehand. He looked like he didn't want it. Um, I mean, I know he's had a lot of boxing fights, um, but it's a completely different experience for He me. came out throwing a few big hand, big he right did. and left handers, looking to knock you out, but it was a body shot that hurt him. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, I think he caught me a one, but I just, you know, kept it that bit tighter. He was swinging for the high heels. Maybe nerves got to him. Um, to be fair, you know, I'd rate any man that gets in the ring, doing better knuckle, any type of contact sport. It's a fair play to him. Um, Can I just ask you something there, like that body shot, we were talking about the body shot, yeah. uh, you know how it works in professional boxing and also in, in burn knuckle. Um, as you planned, they've been working on them body shots in yeah, training. Yeah, body or, head, body yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, e even if I faint the jab, you know, then step in, because I'm quite short, other guys have a longer reach from me. So I sort of try and faint the jab, you know, try and get under and go over the top. Um, that's what I've been working on. Looking forward to your next fight? I can't wait now. Yeah, I've got a buzz for it. Hey, <laughs> see, let me tell you, the you, you weren't interested in overtime, were you? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting to the bar. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, Martin Thorne. And um, 
if you can come out of a ring without a mark on you and it's exactly good, with a win under your belt you know it's like you said I used to say the same and my coach used to say the same you don't get paid for overtime exactly you know, and, uh, yeah well I'm, I'm actually in in the gym three mornings a week with Pac Odell oh yes and uh, Pac Odell fighter, yeah, and Paddy Lynch who's a big boxing yes. trainer around here yeah. he's had Wayne Elcock Tony Willis from Liverpool yes, and all sorts one, yeah. of people um, and their habits even now Pat Cadell has got them habits yeah 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 he has to get in the ring he has to get on the bag you yeah. know what I'm saying yes exactly it's, it's, it's like blood, yeah. it's in the blood it's in the blood yeah it's it, like it's in the blood I mean I've got a little boy he's only he's only six now uh, Oscar he's called um, he loves it do you know what I mean he lo- I'm not talking to the, when I take him to the gym um, obviously because that's where I you know originated yeah. from and where and whatnot and he loves he, you know he's a cracking little boy he's a good little boy but he loves Every time I pick him up from school, Daddy, can we go home? Can we have a fight? He? he loves it, loves it. Do you know what I mean? And like I say, I do think it's in the blood, you know. And um, whether he'll go on to be a fighter, I'm unsure of yet. You know, if he, if he chooses, that's what he wants to do when he's older. You know, he's got my old fashioned me. Yeah. Let him follow the dream. Exactly, exactly. You know, and uh, he's nearly. It's a pretty. He's a, he's a good-looking lad like myself. So. <laughs> <laughs>